Everywhere you go now, everywhere you look, a worrying trend appears to be very apparent in our society, and that is the fact that men nowadays just aren't men. You have a look around and you see, we've got adults, 25 year old men, who are addicted to video games and have no social life. In this video I want to cover this topic and I want to ask the question, what has happened to men in this generation? If you look back at pictures from 50 years ago or so, or even think about your parents, and think about what your dad was doing at your age. Most people back in the day, by age 30, had their life completely figured out and sorted. And we have so many people in today's generation where this is just so untrue. We have a generation of young men who are lost, have no guidance, have nothing going on, and nothing to look forwards to. But where did this come from? What's driven this trend? And most importantly, how do we fix this? Now, as a young man myself, I'm 21, this is something that I see. It's not really something that I feel because I, I know what I want to do in life and I feel confident and I've got a good social circle and all these sorts of things, so I feel pretty okay in that regard. But you do see this an awful lot. Grown men who have no confidence, no skills and no ambitions. Grown men who have no experience of having friends and don't even have the abilities to speak to women. Now we might say that this is a small percentage of the population and I would argue that it is but one thing is apparent this should not be anybody and actually appears to become more and more common and the things that we have in the world right now such as online chats and worryingly in the future potentially AI girlfriends makes for a very interesting conversation where is the world headed for these sorts of people well to understand this I think we need to address and ask where the problem actually comes from and for this, I think we need to go back to where this generation grew up. Now, myself being 21 was born in 2003. And many people of my generation have had a very different experience to anybody in human history. Things like the iPhone came out in 2007. And by the time we were conscious enough to have a place in the world, the internet was something which we basically took for granted. New opportunities arose from that. People started making friends online and perhaps socializing less. There was a lot more in terms of opportunity to enjoy yourself, right? You weren't confined to a small group of friends that you had to hang out with. You can now meet communities on the internet. Overall, a very good thing. But then we start to see an overindulgence in this. I see a generation now where a lot of people tie their entire existence and life to the internet, constantly updating their social medias to create an image of a lifestyle constantly chasing the next success online. What they fail to acknowledge here is, it's inauthentic. And even when people start to find their groups online, they don't have the same level of social interaction that they would in real life. It's a really worrying situation, but one that we do see unfolding more and more. As people stop socializing in real life, chase an image of social media online to portray a real life, and also create bubbles on the internet rather than going out to meet new people. Now people might say that this is fine but it's really not, especially not for young men. What we have now is a generation of young men, fit, healthy, strong people, people in the peak of their life, perhaps in the best position that they will ever be in, who are not utilizing any of their opportunities to make friends, have experiences, socialize in certain ways, meet different people, work hard, try new things. This is not happening. We have a group of people, not all young men of course, I have to say this, obviously I'm a young man myself and this is not true for me, but we do have a large group of people who do not aspire to do anything. And I think the reason for this is partially to do with the internet. Think about it, 25, 30 years ago, you could make a name for yourself by being an actual somebody, you know. You could go to work, you could get in good shape, have good social skills. Now we have people getting famous on the internet, which is fine, which is good. But we also have people who, for that reason, can live an entire life on the internet, right? Work is a big part of socialization for most people, whether you like your colleagues or not. It's a great place to meet people, get to know people. Now we have a generation of young people who are so cut off from society, they don't feel a part of it, it seems. We have a full generation of people who have been able to avoid the necessary stresses to advance in life. And that's another big thing, right? 
Our generation has grown up in a very, very privileged time. And I know I've made videos myself on this channel talking about the fact that the economy is getting worse or opportunities are not there for young people, and that's true to an extent. But it would be arrogant and ignorant not to acknowledge the massive benefits that we've seen in our lifestyle, right? We have comfort, peace, no wars in our part of the world anyway. We have the ability to buy things and they turn up the next day. It's a really great time to be alive. Now, it's a common statement that easy times create weak men. And I think this could be part of the issue that we're seeing. We live in a time where it's not necessary to show any level of fortitude. You don't have to try hard. You can get carried through life. And obviously, you will not feel the benefits from that. You will feel like a loser and you will be a loser. But you can. And for a lot of people right now, it's the easy option. Because there's, there's very few people out there who are going to want to sit there and try hard when they don't have to. And I think that's another big trend that we're seeing. The fact that a lot of young men have been told it's okay to not be successful. It's okay to not try and win. It's okay to, to not give life a go. And the truth is, it's not, guys. It's not acceptable. You know, we are in this position now because of a number of factors, I think. And another one, I, I think is the fact that a lot of parents now do not push their children very hard. Now, when I was growing up, fortunately, I was always told to discover things for myself. But I see it now, grown men, 20, 25, who still have to answer to their parents. It's not acceptable, right? And parents have a large role to play. But I think the biggest thing, arguably, for this generation is a lot of young men don't feel like they have anything to earn because a lot of young men don't start off with anything. But unlike our forefathers, who saw this as a motivation to go and achieve something with their life, I think a lot of young men now have the choice, right? Because think about it, a hundred years ago, let's say, you didn't have a choice. If you didn't go to work and try, then you would probably starve to death. And because you had to try, you got all of the negatives of hard work, but you got all of the positives. You got a community, a sense of community. You got a social life. You got perhaps manual work. You got a routine. And now a lot of young men start with the same position that their forefathers did nothing. But instead of saying, okay, I have to go and try and achieve something, they don't do that. They sit there and do nothing because they can. It's much easier to play Xbox or League of Legends than it is to go to work. And that sounds great. But this is what's holding you back. I think it's a nasty cycle on that front that most young men are going to end up with nothing at all, no friends, no, well obviously family, but no girlfriend, no money, because they are not pushing themselves in the way that they have to. Think about it, can you imagine, right, we've evolved all this way to be where we are. Can you imagine your grandfather, or even a hundred years ago, or a thousand years ago, right, people in your bloodline were warriors. And now you're going to sit around playing Xbox? It's not acceptable, right? And a lot of young men are not acknowledging this, not taking the time to realise, but it is going to be massively detrimental to their future. You come from a position where your family, your people, have had to struggle for thousands of years to get to this point. You were at the peak, the pinnacle of human evolution, and you're choosing to spend it sat on your backside. Look, I'm not saying that it means that you need to go out and start working 100 hours a week. I'm not saying anything like that. But what I'm saying is we should acknowledge one thing. A lot of young men have become losers because they've been allowed to. Parents have allowed them to, society has allowed them to, and they feel like they have nothing to earn. Everybody kind of starts out with nothing, but now we have a generation that has the choice, and it's made them, I think, become entitled. They don't have to, and they don't want to. Now, you guys will know I don't have a job, right? I run my businesses. And people say, that's unreliable, it's not a good source of income. That's a different topic. I do something. A lot of young men are in the problem that they're in because they are directionless and they don't decide to commit to anything. People always say, how do I get out of this problem? And I always say one thing. If you don't know what the right thing to do is, the right thing is to do something, right? The wrong thing is to do nothing. The right thing is always to do something. You don't know what to do with your life? Maybe just get a part-time job for now. Pick up the gym, why not? you know, learn something. A lot of men just sit there and become consumers. Like I say, as young men, we are the people who a thousand years ago or less 
a lot more recent than that even, would have been the warriors, right? The hunters. And now you've displaced yourself to the bottom of society. You're the strongest you'll ever be, the most capable you'll ever be, and the most powerful you'll ever be. Is now a good time to sit there doing nothing, or is it your time to go and achieve something?